Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of the sales team here at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom and I'd like to show you around our latest vehicle from Valet. It's a 2023 brand new unregistered Eldis CV60. It's in the grey colour, it's on a Fiat Ducato and it is a manual six speed, speed gearbox. Let's take a closer look around and I can point out the features. So we've chosen to spec this with the alloy wheels. Here you can see it's got an underslung gas tank, so that is where you fill your gas up, you don't need bottles. The grey is to empty the waste carrier, waste water, sorry, and the blue is to empty your fresh water, and inside here is your cassette toilet. This is where you fill your water. Don't do that though before you set off on your journey. Put a little bit in, but don't fill it up to the full as you're using your payload there. And here is where you connect your mains electricity. As we go around the rear of the vehicle, you can see if we look up here, sorry Wendy, I'm going too fast for you. As we look up, you'll see that we've got a reversing camera. Please excuse the man that's low in the, mowing the paddock. Um, normally we battle with wind noise, today it's a lawnmower. Double doors open here, and you can press this button here, and it goes fully back, like so. You've got access underneath the bed for storage and internally there's access as well. As we look at the rear doors, wind doors, you'll see we've got windows that open and the windows have got both blinds and fly screens. As we go down the side of the motor, if we look up, you can see as well, we've chosen to spec this with a canopy. So pretty much ready to go, I'd say. This is where you fill the fuel cap up and you can see that it's got add blue as well. We have a fly screen on the door, so as you obviously go on your holidays of an evening, close the fly screen, make sure all your fly screens are down inside and you won't get attacked by midges. The step is an electric step, so let's take a closer look inside. As you can see here, both seats pivot around, it says, to make a nice social seating area. So when you get on site, you can change how the, the front of this feels. On the front windows and the side duck windows, we've got fitted blinds as well. So we've had the cab pack fitted to this. As you can see, it's got cab air con. This is where the reverse camera is. And here you can see you've got all the expected controls on your steering wheel, and it is a six speed manual gearbox. So behind me here, you'll see that we've also chosen to have the microwave fitted in this. Great benefit underneath, you've got a lovely work surface space, which is ideal for popping your plates ready for whatever's gonna come out of the microwave. This is easy storage for the podium table leg, which goes there. And here, again, is a nice storage area with a 12 volt, 240 volt socket. I think I've lost the plot. We have a work surface extension and we've got four drawers that fully open, unlike a lot of motorhomes, Eldis have put a lot of thought into this. So you can actually store, and they're very, very usable, with another 240 volt socket. A good sink, and an abundance of kitchen storage. So we've got storage here, and a good cupboard there as well. We've got a three ring gas burner. It's a combi oven and grill. And you've got even more drawers down here. So you've got plenty of storage space. As we come down to the rear of the motorhome, this is a day bed, so it's, the, the back will lift up. I'm going to struggle to do this, I think. Hold on, Wendy. We might need a bit of a hand. Yeah. We should have looked at this first, I think. So the back foam lifts up. Let's get this out. Lift this back panel up. And we'll push the mattress back so you can see the sofa. This could be one of those fail to prepare, prepare to fail moments. But as you can see at Don Amos, we are very human. It has two really, really nice scatter cushions. So you've got a really lovely 
relaxing space here. And again, it turns into the French bed, so you've also got a good sized double bed. We've got cupboard in, we've got five overhead cupboards in this area. And we've also got storage cupboards and drawers, an absolute abundance of. Please apologise now. Not only have we got the lawn mowers, but the it's skip's all, been empty. It's all happening here today. <laughs> it's a good job I'm relatively loud. <laughs> we have a TV bracket in the bedroom area or seating area. It's a very versatile motor. Here is your wardrobe and the table is stored in there. And here is the fridge. The fridge will work on mains and battery. It doesn't have a gas feature. We've got a well equipped um, washroom area. So it's a wet room style washroom. You've got your cassette toilet, your vanity sink, and this is your shower head that pulls out and it clips into there should you use it. And then we've got the mirror there, which also is a cupboard. So, who'd have thought you could get all of this in a motorhome that's under six metres? Easy to park and easy to drive. So, why not get yourself over to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom? We've got two of these for you to have a look at at the moment. Um, give us a call before you come so we can be sure to let you know we've still got the stock. Um, and when you do come, do have a look at how nice the grass is looking. <laughs> Enjoy and see you soon at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom.